So yesterday I posted a video about the new 500 watt hour Blue Eddy by Max Oak. And some people said that my point of having a regulated output is unnecessary and you can still power 12 volt appliances with an 11 volt output. And that is absolutely wrong. And this video is going to prove it. I even had the company this morning email me and say, no, 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 it's fine. You don't need it to be regulated. And I was like, that's absolutely false. I actually covered this in previous videos, but I have a lot of new viewers. So we're gonna drive home this point in one video so that you guys will always know this for all of time. So for this test, these two are not regulated and these two are regulated. And right now we have 11.6 volts and we have 80% state of charge. Let's connect a small 12 volt inverter and see what happens. Look at that, it just turned off. And we got an Air 27, it cannot power this load. Now we're gonna try it on the Rock Pals. And we have 10.8 volts. And it just turned off. You see that? It doesn't run. Now we're gonna do the same exact test on the Jackery that has a regulated output and on the larger Blue Eddy that has a regulated output. So we've got 13.3 volts. Now let's plug it in. Do you see that? It turns on, it works because we have the right voltage going into it. Now let's plug it into this one. Guess what? It's on, it works. And some people could argue that this test is unfair because it has its own low voltage cutoff and it's hard to power, it's an inverter. So there's capacitors, there's initial surge, and then you also have voltage drops, so it's hard to power. So what we're gonna do instead is use another common load is a 12 volt LED light. And some people will do just fine powering this with any of these but you must understand that there will be a decrease in performance. The amount of watts that we can push through these lights will be decreased in the unregulated ones. And the decrease in performance will decrease as the state of charge lowers. So let's plug it in and see what we find. So the first one, we're pulling 30 watts and that's pretty good for these lights. And this one is at 80% state of charge. Now this one is lower and it's at 10.9 volts. So let's plug it in. And look at that, we're pulling 19.6 watts. So instantly we have a 30% decrease in wattage that this will pull from our solar generator just because the nominal battery pack voltage that we can draw from it is so much lower. Now let's plug it into these. And this one's 31.7 watts, 32 watts. So we have a little bit of an increase over this one, but not much. But we have a huge increase over this one. But understand that if this one was discharged to the same state of charge as this one, this one would also have the 30% decrease in performance. This one will still perform just as well, even if it's at a very, very low state of charge. Now let's plug it into this one. And we have 32.7, 32.8. So these two perform the same. They both have a regulated output regardless of the state of charge. So I want you guys to understand that these ones, they might work to power your 12 volt loads when they are full, but they will not power your loads the moment you start to use that battery. And that is, in my opinion, unacceptable. You do not want to have a unit like connected to a fridge in a van and you're trying to power it off of the 12 volt receptacle and you say, hey, We've got 10 amps at 12 volts. This thing is not pushing 12 volts. And as the state of charge decreases and you are demanding less volts but more amps, you will actually trigger the overcurrent protection. Um, and then also a lot of 12 volt appliances like this one have a low voltage cutoff and they won't even work at all with these. So that's completely pointless, whether it's charged up or not. So yeah, some people were arguing and saying, no, no, Will, 11 volts is fine. No, it is not fine. Um, when it says 12 volts on an appliance, it actually means 13.2 to like 13.6 is ideal and they can handle upwards of 14.5 to 15 volts if you want it to work with high performance. And that's where the Jackery and the larger ones set themselves apart. All of them are regulated and you can actually power like a 12 volt fridge off of these outputs. These ones you cannot. So I do not want you guys wasting your money buying like a $500 unit and you can't even power it even if it says it does. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Quick little example and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.